Welcome back. So there's a chance that that you might see this mid slaughter. Oh wait, it says mid sand king. Okay, so your Pash will be on the sand king, mid sand king against uh, this partner. He at the same time he also has to be pretty careful with that caustic finale as he's now traded back. But because he has that bottle charges, he is kind of in the lead, or at least he has the advantage uh, with when it comes to those just trading damage back and forth. Bottom lane, Frostbite and a Crystal Nova onto the Slada. Uh, consume that magic stick for now. Metamorphosis has been uh, deployed by the Terror Blade. No kills coming out just yet. The Wisp will be able to keep, JD will be able to keep his core alive, but middle lane hard, drawing that first blood on the Sand King. And that is just absolutely worth it. And Hyopash now trying to regain a bit of a lane control, but because of that first blood, it's going to be slightly hard. He uses the Cosmic Finale, the Resonant Pulse, keeping Hall alive. He pops the Illusion Rune, trying to get out, but the Illusion Body blocks him instead. As he's going to pop the Aether Remnant. Doesn't really catch Yopash though. Yopash is going to right click him down. Hall might have mis misplayed that. And Yopash will instantly get a Retribution kill. So the lead from the first blood, not really working out. And it's not really doing too much, uh, having too much impact. This PA is still less than 100 gold behind his partner, keeping up in farm. Yopash is going to make his first rotation to the bottom lane. The first fight was used on set, but Burrowstry does miss. He does get the bash in. Young PH only level 4, no metamorphosis, no reflection. It's going to be bash to death. They commit the epicenter just to make sure that he goes down the lane. As Hall will get lucky with his second bottle. This time he has the regen rune. So it's even easier to trade, but top lane is going to be an easy kill on the scam. They get the life drain, they kick him back. The Geno is in no position to help this PA. But they have to kind of decide where to go. Metamorphosis plus Frostbite. Sam walks forward with the, for the Slytherin Crush. The overcharge, keeping him alive. The heal is just enough for his fellow support to deliver that self. Skule has the smoke. Boulder. Fine scam once more. Scan Splur runs out. Easy boulder smash. Just one more right click will do the job. He gets the grip off. Skule on a killing spree and scam goes back to the fountain once more. So the first 15 minutes seemingly going into the uh, going into favor of Myanmar. And they should be happy about it. They should be looking to kind of uh, accelerate the speed. But you see the bottom lane fight. You have that freezing field being laid out. Unfortunately, Slada goes down and JG won't be able to make it out as well. The Earn Charge just takes him off. So two more kills going over to Myanmar. Ho is not done yet though with the Aether Remnant's gonna catch General. General steals away the Bounty Ruins but he's gonna give his life for it. The DD is just too much. The third one for Myanmar and Philippines getting absolutely rolled over. A 6k network lead for Myanmar. 10 minutes in. In middle lane, we might see some actions happen, but the pings are coming up. They are ready for this commitment. The voice spirit is going to join pretty soon, and they get the frostbite immediately onto scam. We drop the freezing field and the magnetized fan, a scam, able to blink strike away. Phantom strike into safety, but it's not safe enough as Lan stands there. The life ring keeping it alive. Now the nether blast onto tree. Magnetized still going on. They get the geometric grip from skill They pull the IO back with the Aether Remnant and Horse and execute him for the killing spree. But Yopash will get his killing spree as well. Takes out this Crystal Maiden, a great crush from the Slada, but not great enough as he will just throw his body away. Double kill for Hall. Now he looks at Jano. They get the earn just on him as the epicenter gets Channel and cancel by Skill Lay as he says, How dare you channel the spell in front of my Earth Spirit? As he's gonna use that rolling boulder. Triple kill for Hall. It might be a four as Hall just walks forward. Yopash with the Burrow Strike. Skill Lay under tower. As Scam jumps in, kills them all with that Phantom Strike. Philippine able to at least get this streak. But they do suffer heavy casualties though. They kill off one Earth Spirit. But if Myanmar catches him again, this might be pretty deadly though. They have a five man smoke. They're looking for scam and they're gonna find it with the use. Freshly picked up, they roll onto him, they pull him back with the remnant, and there's no escape. 33 seconds in the fountain. They even catch Jano as well. This undying is gonna be dead. And of course, JG will be mowed down by Young PH as well. Myanmar with their perfect move. Reading where the Filipinos are, and he does not have to worry too much uh, about the Philippine heroes. But Yopaj has the epicenter, it's gonna try and go for Young PH. Channel just sees him, but the life frame is there. Is it enough? Yes, it is. They get the dust now. Now JG comes in with the relocate, tries to save his buddy, but he's gonna relocate himself towards his own grave. Zori, not a killing spree. 
Yopash just over commitment. Meanwhile, Hawk catches out Janwell once again. This undying, not able to play Dota as he was constantly sent back uh, to the grave. But this process is going to keep repeating itself. But they do have the Aegis though. They do have the Aegis on their PA. So they, they're going to try, regardless, utilize this last creep wave for as long as they can. And start barreling in into that tier 3. Glyph was used earlier on. So it's going to be no fortification. The soul is going to keep that tool alive for now, but it's going to go down regardless. And Askill is going to roll in with the rolling boulder. Unfortunately, he's not going to find anyone just yet. The Metamorphosis is still pretty active as Myanmar works on the first set of racks. And despite your Yopash's best attempt to cut the creep wave, there's nothing else that he could have done. It was a catapult wave. There's Aegis on Young PH. He can just walk in and take that tower, no problem. And again, Philippines... And I think they kind of know that there's a ward. Perfect. Perfect ops. It spot out the entire smoke from the side of Myanmar. The smoke's going to be broken by Scam and Geno. The Geno's going to be there. They immediately jump on this corner. They crit him down. That's the killing speed gone. Zorin will run away. The Ashes step is also used as well. And it seems like Philippines, they got the drop onto Myanmar. And it all happened because of that one observer ward. Revealing the smoke and allowing Philippines to go for the counter attack. This is what we've been talking about. This is what we want. PA getting herself two kills in a row. Partner and Lun both going down. And if they get more, it's going to be absolute disaster. Stab with the new BKB. Here comes a relocate though. They bring in Scam. And Stab will bash this Earth Spirit to death. Use up on PA. And they will also get the Void Spirit. Four kills for Philippines. And with how. Uh, Philippines have been kind of holding the fort. It, it is no surprise that they are able to take all these fights. But we'll see what Myanmar wants to do. They still have the Aegis and the Cheese. The Metamorphosis is going to work on the TSG right now. Fortification is going to come back up. Lala tries to walk in for Crush but gets Geomantic Grip instead. So Silence is there. He's going to drop the pace but gets pushed back. This tier 3 will most likely go down. But Steph's going to give it a shot anyways. To kill a chunk of damage. Yopash comes in with Burrow Strike and a Dagger from Scam. It's not gonna dissuade this, this young PH too much. It's gonna take another second set of Rex as Myanmar playing that middle lane. And one set of Rex away from Mega Creep. Things are looking dire for Philippines. Like they, they had a chance. But now it looks Worse is the minimal first is dead. The Glimmer Kid is going to keep Sap alive. Scam jumps in, immediately take a ton of damage, even the Phantom Strike away, but they still kill him off regardless. What a right click from Young PH. They even kill off JG. And I believe these two have no buybacks. This is going to be mega creeps for Myanmar. And there's nothing much they can do. Yopash can come in with the last resort. MP Center is there as well, but the damage is just not there. It's just not there. Freezing field. And it's going to put Philippines in the frozen tomb. Buyback from JG. Wanting to keep his starter alive, but he will be able to do so. But they need to hold up for 60 seconds as Yopash is going to buy back. Scam does not have his. His 40 go away from his buyback. They need a bounty room for that, but there's no time for that. There's no bounty room for them to claim. So they have to play this 4 versus 5, but what can you do against Young PH? Perhaps going for a Blink Burrow Strike. Blink Crush towards the back line, but Sab is just too far forward. They're going to turn around and beat him to death. The Reno can keep him safe, at least for now. They have the Soul Rip, but Myanmar, they have their eyes on the ball. It's not about those kills. It's not about taking down those heroes, it's not about the KD, it's about the Ancient. They want to go for the throne straight, but the Philippines retaliate, they didn't take him down enough. Finally, sc Scam, he gets enough, go for the buyback. Is this the hole for Philippines? Can they do this though? Earth is going to immediately buy back. Scam is going to jump right in. They have the overcharge, they need to make this work. Jan is going to do this buyback as well. Scam pauses the BKB, tries to go for all these crits, but he have Young PH chasing after him. Now he's going to frost by him. Four staffs to keep Scam alive. Scam can't even find a strike over yet. He can't just back in, gets a triple kill, but the crits, they're hitting the throne. The throne is going down! Myanmar's 3 and Philippines gotta hold on! And they don't, they don't have the damage! Chris for the win! Myanmar draws first blood in this qualifiers and score their first point!